Hey, this is Vic Chasey and in this video I'm going to be talking about the three huge Amazon FBA hacks and tips that will help you with your Amazon business. So just before I jump into number one, I'm going to be announcing the three winners of the coaching calls from the three videos that I'll have in this video somewhere around here and I'm going to be announcing those on Monday coming. I'm also going to be announcing those in the Facebook group. If you want to join the Facebook group, hit the link in the description. If you want to enter the coaching call competition, I'll also put a link to the three videos that I'm talking about below. I'll put it in a playlist for you so you can go and check that out as well. Now, don't forget, I still have a running competition, a huge competition going on at the moment with one of the Amazon FBA product research videos. I'm giving away a product research tool which is helium 10 for one month I'm also giving away another coaching call and the big huge prize I'm giving away the Amazon FBA course the full course with my support so make sure you check out that video too I'll also link that video in the description for you so you can check that out and enter after the end of this video you need these three tips so make sure you keep watching so here's the first tip actually the three tips I'm going to go through one of them is going to be related to product research so it's a tip on product research the second one is going to be a supplier tip and how to get the most out of them and the third tip is going to be around a listing and when you actually list your product put it up for sale on amazon.com these three tips are going to be super super powerful so the first one is product research so with tip number one you're going to need jungle scouts chrome extension or you're going to need helium's 10 helium 10s x-ray tool which is also a chrome extension tool very similar to each other but both slightly different but with this tip all you need is one of those two tools and it will apply to both of them i'm going to be using helium 10's x-ray tool and i've got some of the information over here and i'll put it on the screen so you can see what exactly what i'm looking at so the first thing that i'm going to be looking at is the average revenue now with the average revenue you want to make sure that this is above ideally the ten thousand dollar mark because if that's the average revenue then it's likely that when you reach the first page and you're within the first 15 listings or so it's likely that that's the revenue that you're probably going to achieve now ideally you want ten thousand dollars plus so if you could get that that's exactly what you're looking for now as a secondary tip to that when you're looking at the revenue section as you can see on the screen when you're looking at this part over here you want to make sure that almost every single one of the first 15 at least are above the $10,000 mark. Now the reason I say that is if all 15 are above $10,000 for instance, that's a minimum of 15 times $10,000, which is $150,000. Now, the idea behind this product research tip and technique is that you will be looking at taking a small share initially of that $150,000. So let's take for example that you took 10% of that market share. So 10% of 150,000 would be $15,000. So that makes you know that you've got a really good chance and opportunity to actually come into that marketplace, rank within the first 15 ideally, and start achieving $15,000 in revenue. So that's the first tip, that's tip number one. So hopefully that makes sense. If it makes sense to you, please let me know in the comment section below. If it doesn't, let me know. I will probably make another video and explain it to you again properly in a little bit more detail. So let let me know in the comment section. So tip number two is a supplier tip. So when you're ordering your sample products, you've already spoken to your supplier, you've got prices and you're happy with the price and you wanna see some samples now. So when you're getting your samples sent over, what normally happens is you send over a small payment, whether it's 20 to $50 or so, depending on the supplier and where it's coming from. When it gets sent over to you, you will have the sample in front of you and you will be able to look at the product and see whether this is the right product for you. Before the supplier actually sends over any samples, get back in touch with them and ask them for some photos, ask them for some videos of the product that they're actually going to send over. Because if you happen to not get the images or the videos of that specific product that you're looking for, the package arrives, you open it and it's nothing like you expected, then you've already spent all of this time with the supplier, you've waited anything from three to seven to eight, nine days for it to actually arrive from China, you open it up, you've also paid for it, you open it up and it's not the right product and it's not what you're looking for. So if you got pictures and videos from them, then it's really easy for you to say, ah, oh, that's not the right one, or oh, 
that's great. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And when you do this, you'll also start to see that you'll probably want to look at some of the other products as well. So if you're looking to expand or you just want to see other different sizes, let's say, for example, you've got a small product and they've also got a larger version of it. Ask for both of them. Even ask for other products that they might that they might sell and ask them to send those through to you as well. It doesn't cost them any more money to send it over unless it's a humongous, humongous item. But usually the product research that we use is always kind of small items around this size or so. So they're able to send enough to you so you can really make a selection, really test the products as well and get a good idea of the product that you want. So you make sure that you're getting the right samples and extra samples of other products. So you can really start thinking about expansion. You can start testing these other products and it might start to give you some ideas, which has happened to me. When I got a bunch of products, I saw all of them and I thought, hang on, what are the different ways I could put some of this stuff together? And does it make sense for the customer? And that's how I launched some of my other products as well. So that's tip number two. And I hope that was a useful tip. If that's a useful tip, make sure you write star in the comment section below so I know that this is making sense to you. Tip number three is to do with your listing. So when you're doing your keyword research and you've got all of these keywords ready, you know which ones are the top ones that, are you, go that you want to go for, you know which ones are, well, all of them should be uh, relevant to the product that you're selling. When you have all of these keywords, you need to make sure that when you're putting all of this information into Amazon Seller Central in the back end where it asks for keywords, make sure you put these words in there. You also need to make sure that you put these words in your title and you also need to make sure you use the same words in the description as well. That way Amazon starts to understand that this is a product about cutlery for instance. And you will also use all of those same keywords in your PPC campaigns. That way Amazon really understands, okay, this thing is really about cutlery. And when you start selling and people start buying the product under these keywords and they're searching for it and they find it in an advert that you've put up or they just organically find your product, then Amazon will start to understand, okay, this product is about cutlery. People have looked at it, they've bought it. So now Amazon fully understands that this is a cutlery pro product and is able to start getting you ranked much more quickly. So like I said at the start of this video, the competitions are still ongoing, so make sure you go and check out those videos and enter the competitions. Now, if you're absolutely new to Amazon FBA, there's something I want to talk to you about. I have made a free ebook for you. It's a free ebook that tells you all about product research and how you can go about finding your first product. It gives you some simple rules to follow to get you started and get you going and get you researching for that profitable product. If you want that free ebook, make sure you click the link in the description. I'll put it as the first link for you so you can go and get that. All you need to do is put in your name and your email address and it will come straight to you. Now make sure you subscribe to this channel, make sure you like, and if you have any questions or you have any requests for videos, please let me know. I might actually go and make them. Make sure you comment in the section below so I know exactly what you're talking about. I will see you in the comment section and in the next video.